Hello, TRN TV subscribers. You've got Jason here back with you on the Wax Pack Flashback, a very special episode. Uh, did you know that I own a Toys R Us store? Yeah, I mean, you can see it behind me here. Uh, I picked one up last year and been meaning to tell everybody. Uh, I wish it was an actual store. Uh, you know, these stores that are coming back to Macy's, that's not my Toys R Us. I need an actual you know, brick front store for Toys R Us. And I found one in miniature last year. This wonderful 1993 baseball card set from Toys R Us that has the little Toys R Us model store inside. We're going to check it out uh, here in a minute. But I wanted to talk a minute about baseball cards and department store cards in general uh, back in the day. If you remember... You know, late 80s, early 90s, I guess even going back into earlier in the 80s, department stores started releasing their own cards. Uh, now, it wasn't them themselves that were manufacturing the cards, as you'll see from some of these sets. But they were uh, wanting to get in the business, I guess, get around whatever the branding or the cost or whatever maybe it was easier or maybe they just wanted to get their name out there but i collected them i know some people like mickey kind of <laughs> down thumb their nose at uh you know uh all those department store cards they weren't in the beckett price guide you know uh, and even nowadays picking them up fairly cheap two three bucks a box uh but i i do like collecting them just because i have this uh, nostalgia for department stores and visiting department stores back in the day. So some that I've picked up outside of that Toys R Us store. Here is just uh, a Toys R Us for uh, baseball rookies. I think from 89 this one is. But these are what I'm talking about. They're a, a set of maybe, I don't know, 30 to 50 cards. This one's 33 cards. And they have a list of what's inside. That's why I haven't opened this one. I'll probably keep it in the cellophane uh, just because I know what's inside. But uh, they were usually the superstars or the rookies. Uh, Toys R Us put out a lot of rookie sets that I'm wanting to collect. So did KB. KB Toy Stores had their own cards and branded right on the cards. Uh, and some of these I'll open because I've already opened. Um, same deal list of players on the back of what you get inside and their branding essentially on the uh, cards themselves. But as you see from those two, and even this set for Ames, they are made by Topps Company. So, I don't know, maybe and maybe that was the deal why there's only 33 in a set or a lower amount is because they got some price to get their branding out there from Topps to uh, create these cards. But Oh my gosh, Ames. I loved Ames. There was one in our local mall. I visited there all the time when I was deep into baseball cards in the early 90s. That's where I was picking them up from in Ames. And then Hills, my wonderful Hills. Mickey and I talk about uh, Hills on the Time Machine podcast, how much we love and loved uh, visiting there as a kid. Um, these ones are great as well. So I guess all these have 33 in the boxed set but we'll take a closer look at those as we open the uh, Toys R Us store set and let you take a, a closer look at what's inside so let's go ahead and do that I'm so excited to dip into these cards and show them off all right let's get a closer look at some of these uh, baseball card sets like I said I'm going to leave these in the cellophane since they're there but you can see some of the players that are out there. Roberto Alomar, I believe he's a Hall of Famer. Gary Sheffield. One in this 89 set that I obviously thought would be there would be King Griffey Jr., but he's not. There's 1990. These are all-star baseball cards. So these are going to be all your top players. George Brett, Dave Winfield, 
Ricky Henderson, Cal Ripken, Wade Boggs, lots of great names. Don Mattingly, Kurt Gibson, Daryl Strawberry. All right, let's look at some of these uh, that I do have open. Look at that wonderful Hills price sticker on there. Oh, so great. I love everything about Hills. And these look great. Look at that nice big Hills logo. These do have a nice gloss to them, as you can see on the front and then on the back. It's just kind of your matte finish. Great cards in here. So you get all of the superstars of Major League Baseball at the time. And I don't know if these uh, pictures were unique. I'm just looking at that Dennis Eckersley, I was like, that looks like a familiar picture. So I'm not sure if they were using the same pictures that they had used in other top sets or what was going on with that. But obviously I love just seeing that Hills uh, logo. I'll just leave that there. Let's look at the uh, KB set and look at the logo. Everything for these. Oh, that wonderful KB Toy Store logo. And then Superstars of Baseball, George Bell. Th these have a nice sheen to them as well, as you can see. And then that same kind of finish on the back. So, similar fashion. Uh, you know, they were probably making these cards. Ooh, there's some puzzle pieces in there. Forgot about those. I think those were from a different set, actually, that uh, somebody had stored in there and I got to pick them up for free but obviously they were doing them from other stores as well okay what you came for was to look at this wonderful Toys R Us 1993 baseball set featuring 100 young stars rookie stars and future stars plus a complete set of 12 master photos see checklist on back so there was cellophane wrapping this when I initially bought it. Uh, but I like to open stuff, especially something like this that I want to put on display. Product of Top Stadium Club. Super quality baseball cards. All right. Let's open this up from the side. And we'll look inside. There is the uh, photos which I am going to open. And then there's a little piece of cardboard in there kind of holding that in place. <laughs> look at that. Toys R Us. And on the top, look at this. It's almost like you have a bird's eye view of inside a Toys R Us store. You got checkout down front here and then just all the aisles. Look at all this. Oh my gosh, this is so great. Just love looking at that. And then... That wonderful Toys R Us logo with Jeffrey on the front and back. And as you lift this off, you'll see the roof or the, <laughs> the bird's eye view is a photo that's on top of that protective uh, sleeve there. And then here is your baseball card set inside the store. Oh, man. So this is uh, just like some of these other sets, except this one's 100 cards we do not have a checklist on the back i'm assuming there might be a checklist inside let's just take a look at uh front of these cards oh my gosh yes oh and look first <laughs> first one out of the bag there king griffey jr wonderful toys r us logo these stuff have a little sheen to them on the front it would be if there's you know top stadium club and then we get the gold foil logo down here and then the young star right there oh these are great look at that background with the sky and the grass and get some stats there of griffey up to this point which would be in 1993 so then we see rookie star there young star we go through all these. Future Star. I haven't looked at all of the uh, names on here to see what uh, what is all in here. But, man, 
That's just so great. A hundred cards in this set. Now let's look at the uh, photos too. Because I never had any... I, I remember, and I actually have some un unopened of the larger baseball cards that were about, you know, three or four times the uh, original size. But these look uh, pretty glorious. 1993 Jeffrey Ink. <laughs> Toys R Us Master Photo. So these are what appears to be the front of the baseball cards in the set. I don't know if there's maybe a hundred of these you could you could uh, collect and. 12, you know, 12 came with this set. Maybe they sold them individually uh, as well. Man, these are nice. You could frame these. Gary Sheffield, Willie Green, Chuck Knobloch, Marquise Grissom, Scott Livingston, there's King Griffey, uh, Pudge, Von Rodriguez, Carlos Baerga. Moises Alou, Sam Militello, Eric Anthony. Oh, that one's uh, that one got creased somehow. But yeah, there's nothing, nothing on the back. Just that uh, what we saw there. But wow, these look fantastic. There's Frank Thomas. I don't know if I said him or not. You can see the light get that. And shines like gold. Has almost like a rainbow effect around the card. These are really great. All right. Well, that's uh, that's a look at my Toys R Us. <laughs> I'm going to be putting this thing on display uh, somewhere. Just uh, looking at the front of that store. Uh, so great. What a great set. And I'm glad I finally got to show it off for you guys. All right, so there you have it. I uh, hope you enjoyed that look at my Toys R Us store. Uh, I can't wait to just put it on a shelf somewhere and get it out and let it breathe a little bit. If you find them, they are uh, available on eBay. That's where I found this one. And uh, some of those are kind of yellowed. They've been put in storage, you know, somewhere for 30 years now. And uh, it's hard to find one, at least when I went digging, to find this one that was nice and bright and white. Um so be looking on uh, for that. But it still was fairly cheap, under 20 bucks, when I uh, got this set on eBay. But uh, thanks so much for watching the video. Uh, leave your comments in the, uh, in the comments below. Let me know if you collected these department store cards back in the day. If I was the only one that was picking them up. Uh, I would love to hear it. Also, hit the like button. Make sure you are subscribed to TRN TV. And a big welcome to Adam. Adam's our third host now for the Wax Pack Flashback between me and Mickey. Um, he is coming on with us. He's going to do some fun openings. Hope you checked out his first two. So much energy, and uh, you can tell that he loved trading cards back in the day and still does. And we are uh, getting him hooked up with some actually comic book related cards that he's going to be releasing some videos here on TRN TV. Very excited about that. I've also got a bunch of other cards that I'm sitting on and I'm going to start releasing some videos for those as well. Uh, one is going to be, I know, a music-themed uh, series of openings. I've got uh, Michael Jackson cards. I've got uh, Cindy Lauper cards, Elvis cards, American Bandstand cards. All those are coming. I can't wait to open those. I love music, and there was uh, several sets that I... Uh, they put out uh, music related over the years. So we're going to start opening up some of those. I've got other ones on TV. I've got 80s stuff that I can't wait to dive into. So a lot more wax pack flashback videos are coming. So make sure you are subscribed. Appreciate uh, the help there. And don't forget, we have a Patreon as well. Patreon.com forward slash the retro network. Sign up for just a dollar and you can get these videos early before anybody else and watch them over there on Patreon. So thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.